G'day guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out a few little hidden features in the Y62 Patrol that Nissan didn't tell you. Alright, so first off is to do with your key. Now, a lot of this video is sort of suited towards the newer owners who probably don't know these things or haven't figured them out yet. Um, so, when you first pick up your control, uh, your patrol, when you go to, you know, you unlock the car and then you lock the car, down the horn. Uh, to let you know that uh, the car's actually been locked. Now, the way to get rid of that is if you hold down both the lock and unlock button until the indicators um, go on, then you'll get rid of that annoying beep every time that you lock the car. Alright, so another really handy one with the key is uh, for those hot summer days where the car might have been sitting out in the sun and it is bloody stinking. You can hold down the unlock button and all your windows will come down as long as you continue to hold it and that'll help vent out all that hot air in the car before you jump in so pretty cool all right so this one is for all the TIL owners out there so we have the obviously normal headrests in the TI in the TIL they have a screen in the back of the headrest for passengers to watch a movie do whatever um, when you're driving on maybe a long trip trip or something like that and obviously all your controls are down there for it now a really good trick if you want to stream something off your phone is to buy a HDMI to whatever charging point port your uh, phone supports so whether it's lightning or uh, micro USB or USB-C you get your HDMI plug it into the HDMI port and then you plug your uh, the other end of the cord into your phone bring up a streaming service like YouTube or Netflix or Stan uh, and that can be then mirrored onto the screen on the headrest so then you can watch your favorite shows whenever you're on the go how cool all right, now this one is to do with this button here. A lot of people probably think, what the hell is this button for? So, this button is your lane and blind spot intervention. And you press that, and then you'll get a couple of little green lights on the dash, one at the top, and then one over there above the uh, temperature gauge. Now that'll um, help in assisting you um, if you go to uh, veer into another lane, um, it'll stop you from um, crossing over lines um, and also if there's somebody in your blind spot that it detects uh, it'll stop you from actually um, moving into that other lane um, and will avoid an accident so that's just simply on and off with the button so if you want it on if you want it off whatever um, so that's there if you need it right so this is a handy reversing one you come down to your mirror switch and you have it in either left or right and then when you put the car into reverse the uh, mirrors should dip down mine don't for some reason I don't know why but anyway they're meant to dip down so you can see the, uh, the lines um, when you're trying to park or or try and see a curb or something when you're trying to park the car so it's a pretty handy feature all right so the rear vision mirror there's a little duvalaki behind the mirror on the TIL which allows the uh, the mirror to actually turn into the camera feed from the rear of the car so if you have a heap of passengers or you're fully loaded up you can um, yeah flick that and then you can see everything like you usually could if there was uh, nothing in your way so handy again for the TIL owners so when you first get the car you'll obviously have um, just the driver's door open uh, when you first hit the key um, yet then you can just double press the, the unlock button and it'll unlock all the doors But if you wish to turn it off vehicle settings and then you go down to selective door unlock and you just uncheck that uncheck that and Then all doors of the car will open when uh, you hit the unlock button All right, so another feature of the patrol is the anti pinch feature where it'll stop the window when it detects something in the way so we'll give it a try Ugh, nah, I don't want to actually try that. I don't trust it. Hang on, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Nah, I don't want to trust that. But uh, apparently it does have it, so um, if anyone's more game than me to crush their fin fingers in the window, uh, yeah, be my guest. Um, but yeah, sure. I believe it. 
All right, guys, that's just a quick little video on some things that you may or may not know about your car and some pretty handy features uh, that they do include. Now, hopefully, in the coming week, I'll be able to get another video out on uh, doing a little bit of four driving to stock in the car just to give everyone a bit of a gauge of just how capable they are, even as a stock vehicle. So, look forward to that one. Uh, and also in the next few weeks I'll be uh, doing a video on the trim removal and the uh, the wrap of the trim as well so stay tuned for that that'll be a good one uh, I'm gonna be away for a few weeks so don't expect anything um, anything out too soon but uh, yes hopefully next week I'll be able to get something out and um, yeah anyway guys thanks for watching this short little video I hope you have enjoyed and learnt something uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit like if you enjoyed this one. Anyway, take it easy and I'll catch you at the next one.